Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand relational model constraints, which are uh, in that in those constraints, we will try to understand about domain constraints. So, what is meant by a constraint? So, before uh, understanding the different domain constraint, we will try to understand what is meant by a constraint. Constraints are the restrictions on the actual values in the database. So, for example, if you take a table in this database, the restrictions that we impose on the values. So these are the values of the database, right? In the sense, the values that are being stored in the table of a database. So on those values, the, the restrictions that we impose. So those are what we call it as constraints. Why we need to impose constraints on the database is for the better management of the data in the database. In what way that can be, that we will try to understand one by one, step by step. There are four different types of uh, uh, constraints. One is uh, domain constraint next one is key constraint null value constraint and referential integrity constraints we have already discussed about these three in a lighter way uh, in this video and in the next video we'll try to understand them in detailed and uh, about this referential integrity constraint we will try to understand uh, from the scratch so what is this domain constraint domain constraint specify that within each tuple the value of each attribute must be atomic value from the domain so the discussion about domain has already been made in our previous videos if you haven't watched that video please watch that video and come back here there we have discussed that for every attribute the domain of that the domain of the values that are to be inserted for example if you take this attribute for this attribute the domain of the value that we are trying to insert has to be identified that identification can be done by using the data type so in the creation of the table where we have discussed in our previous videos uh, there we have uh, in the creating the column name we have given the data types so let's try to uh, identify the data types for this uh, uh, for these columns so i have taken the same employee table with less number of attributes for better understanding for example if you take name and this name uh, uh, what what kind of values that can be inserted for this name it is going to be a character string for that the data type that the sql supports is it is var care variable length character string so var care and we have given some size 30 40 some sizes are also provided so that is also a domain constraint so that size states that the number of characters uh, for that value that we try to insert should not cross 30 so even uh, uh, even so the employee name the name of the employee should not cross 30 characters similarly if you take ssn we have considered it as integer int and the size of int is let's take it is take it as 10 characters we have taken 10 digits and for sex we have taken var care of 1 if you remember or just recap from the previous video var care of 1 so it means that this is going to have a, a character string in the sense it can be a combination of alphabets and also digits but the size of that is not going to be cross 1 so and the values uh, uh, values uh, the size is 1 since that's why we have taken m and f male and female so okay and salary so we have considered the salary as a float so this is what we call it as a, a, a data type for the columns data type for the columns and what is meant by domain domain means it is the values that we are going to take should be from this set of values so within this domain for example if you take uh, integer ssn we have taken it as integer so what are the set of integers so if you go into the sets and relation mathematical concepts a set of integers means it is uh, it is from minus infinity to plus infinity within those all those integers are considered as the set of integers for example if you take the set of integer the values that we are going to come across in the set of integers is it is thousand uh, hundred thousand ten thousand uh, one or two one or seven so all these are the set of integers for example if you take 23.56 can it be an integer can it be there in the in this set no it is not accepted because it is a floating point value 
okay so these these are what we call it as the set of values the set of values that are accepted for this column for example if you try to give uh, 10 uh, f3 so can it be a, an integer no it is not an integer because this character is involved which is not accepted and also the other constraint is size more than 10 elements and it is restricting again so the the integer that we sh that we have in this set should not cross 10 digits for example if you have 1 1 0 1 1 in that way we are having 2 3 4 uh, some 11 characters are there means that is not accepted in this set set of all integers with 10 digits okay so all those values that uh, that are going uh, that are going to be there within those 10 digits should be there in this set so that is what we call it as domain and that domain is identified by using data types okay so uh, once again we read the definition and we will try to understand domain constraints specify that within each tuple within each tuple the value of each attribute must be atomic value so atomic value means simple value which cannot be further divided if you take 100 which cannot be further divided into pieces so those atomic values should be there from the domain so from this domain only the values has to be taken so other than other than that if you try to insert that is not accepted let's try to understand by our real world example from our inserting the data from our sql concepts so here command prompt here is our sql and uh, we'll try to insert the data okay and uh, uh, now we will try to insert this data uh, we will change the values a bit and uh, we'll try to insert here uh, in the case of uh, in the case of ssn it is we have taken it as integer right now what we will do is we will increase the size so the size has been increased let's try to insert see here we got an error so value too large for column system in the database system employee table ssn actual maximum value is 9 but we are trying to insert 14 characters so that has to be changed so let's try to do uh, some more changes and we'll try to insert uh, and we will delete all this and we'll try to add some characters f r g something some characters we are trying to insert for ssn as we have declared this as an integer and we try to insert see here it is considering frg as another column so that's why it is see here the the error is tried to this f it means that a comma is missing so up to here it has considered up to here it has considered as the values of this ssn column after that it it, it is not able to identify this frz and it is considering this as an another column okay so this is also not getting inserted now we will change that value uh, we will delete all those uh, uh, characters and we will just give the uh, uh, try to insert it one row has been inserted see here so this is how this is how we are establishing some restrictions on the values that are being inserted into the attributes why we need to do that for the better management of the data in the database if if anything is getting inserted to any attribute means that is of no use okay for efficient management of the data there are some kind of restrictions upon the data value so those restrictions are what we call it as constraints hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching